Hey everyone, I'm Adam Whitbourne, head gardener at Blarney Castle and Gardens and um, we're supporting Pledge to Plant. Today I'm going to show you um, potting on some of our little Japanese maples. They're actually really easy from seed and we not only collected a few from our own gardens in the autumn but we got past them from other gardens and um, I'm also keen on plant hunting and um, plant collecting in the wild so we have a couple of very special varieties in here as well but what I want to really illustrate is just how easy this is to do you could do this at home sowing your own little collections of seeds with the kids it doesn't have to be maples but I chose a Japanese maple because they're a great small tree for the general urban garden spaces um, but really when they get to the stage where we planted them on this is actually um, Acer species from wild collected from northern Vietnam so you can see the seed as it comes out and uh, these have been stored in the fridge so in January I actually brought out batches of the different seeds and we sowed those into these pots and all of these varieties were sown and then put into it it could be a windowsill but we put ours into a um, a cold um, glass house and um, over the last couple of months they've all been popping up and germinating and you can see it's mixed germination some are ahead of others and some of them are not yet ready to pot on but others are so for the sake of argument today I'm going to pick quite a special little one this is an acer species from northern Vietnam with lovely leathery leaves and there's two of them germinated very well here and um, if you support them with your fingers and just tip up and take the label out you can tease them out quite easily often if there's a few more you have to put a bit more work into it but quite gently teasing out leave a good little root ball if you can there's one break that one up a little bit and there's another now aces like to be in slightly acid soil so i've done a mix and um, our mix here is general potting compost which I've added some sieved bark, a little bit of peat and a bit of vermiculite and perlite to improve the drainage. Now everyone has their own preferred sort of mixes and methods but um, I find this works well with the acers and we've been using it for rhododendron species as well. So just crumbled up, you can sieve it, I like to just rub it between my hands and then backfill a pot loosely then what I tend to do is clear a space with my fingers and just gently drop in and just tamp down a little bit as you go you don't want to overpress it because it just needs to be supported in the pot it doesn't want to be overly compacted a little bit more soil around it it's important to maintain roughly the same planting height that it was growing at and I like to just tap things to settle them and that is in effect one potted on and ready for its its next couple of months growth before we probably move it on again or plant it out into a space in the gardens in time and don't forget your label as well so something from home for you can do from home and have fun with um, this works for a lot of other species it's not just aces you can do it with fruit and veg as well tomatoes but the point being is don't be afraid of them it's quite simple and it's just a case of making sure you keep the roots intact don't overly compact when you're putting them into the pot and um, with aces i think when you're potting them on john innis number two is a loam based compost which is very good for them but um within a couple of years you can have your own lovely little Japanese maples which can go into the garden or in pots on the patio so have fun with that thanks <laughs>